हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई पोस्टेड पार्ट वन ऑफ माय सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस ऑन टाइम एंड वर्क वेर इन आई डिस्कस्ड ए वेरी सिंपल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ टाइम एंड वर्क जस्ट टू टेल यू द एफिशिएंसी मेथड ऑफ सॉल्विंग दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ इन पार्ट नंबर टू ऑफ दिस सीरीज आई एम गोइंग टू डील विद वन वेरी टिपिकल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ टाइम एंड वर्क which when solved through traditional methods will consume a lot of time and now i am going to solve this through a shortcut the problem goes like this there are three persons x y and z when x and y pair up to complete the work they complete it in 10 days when y and z pair up they complete it in 12 and 1/2 days and when all three of them work together they complete the work in 4 days now i need to find out the third pair that is x and z how, how much time how many days will x and z take to complete the work so see two pairs are already given and all three it is already given the third pair we need to find out now this is a special type of problem which you should remember in competitive exams and if you are unaware of the method then this is very difficult to solve at in the first go so how do we go about it now i am telling you the solution through the efficiency method so see here we are given that x and y see x and y 10 days so efficiency will be 100 upon 10 that is 10% similarly efficiency of see i am writing all the steps just to tell you the procedure but when you solve this in competitive exams you don't need all these steps we just just need the percentages efficiency of now y and z see 100 upon this is 12 and half 12.5 which is exactly 8 efficiency of x y z all three four days so 100 upon 4 that is 25% now see you need to find out the number of days taken by x and z so first of all we need to find out how many days will x alone take and how many days will z alone take now out of these three if you subtract these two see this these are all three persons x y z and this is x and y so if you subtract only z is remaining so z only means this is 25% minus x and y 10% so 15% efficiency is of z only similarly when you subtract these two x y z and y z so only x remains so x only 25 minus 8 so that is 17% so now i have found out the efficiencies of x and z alone so x and z that means when they work together the efficiency will be they are some so this is 32% the sum of 15 and 17 32% now the next step will give you the answer therefore number of days taken by x and z is just divide just like we did here 100 divided by the combined efficiency is 32% so 100 divided by 32 so you can very easily cancel this by 4 so 50 by Uh, i am cancelling this by 2 first 16 now further by 2 25 by 8 so 25 by 8 will give you your answer in mixed fraction that is 3 1 by 8 days will be your final answer of this question now see very simple procedure and no complicated reciprocals to be taken here and addition subtraction of uh, red fractions is also omitted in this method so efficiency method is very useful if you have not seen part 1 of this video you should see that part 1 to know what is this efficiency method only then you should carry on with the complex problems of time and work wait for more videos on time and work till then keep sharing and subscribe the channel if you like it